So that puts me about 16% up. And then we took off Walmart today at a 44% gain. And Donna had a huge gain in Halo where I was only up 2%. So huge, 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 huge week. Good afternoon, Outliers. How are y'all doing today? Happy Friday. We have a lot to do today. I apologize for being late. I had to run my special live stream, as Brian likes to point out. Um, but first, we need to have the weekly winner circle. Um, yes, just pulling up my random number generator here. And now I got to hit the bumper to make it official. All right, here we go. So the way to win the weekly winner circle is ultra easy. All you got to do is come over here inside of the Discord come over here to share your big wins and just tell us how you've used outlier this week right it doesn't have to be a huge game-changing win right it doesn't have to be enough to buy a house or anything like that all you gotta do is just let us know how are you using outlier because that's really what we're after is how are you using outlier how can we make this better for you that is our goal every single day and as you've seen we are constantly making improvements to make outlier better for you so um we had just a handful of people who participated this week. We had Dave. Now, Dave won last week. So, Dave, I will unfortunately not allow you to win this week. But next week you can. We've got KX Chan. So that is a new name. KX Chan, thanks so much for coming online. So I'm going to make KX Chan number one. Then we had Brian as number two. Then we had Randy talking about his huge wins this week. Way to go, Randy. Happy for you, my friend. He is going to be number three. Now, I saw that Randy is... Oh, he's not in the chat. But let me do say hi to everybody in the chat before we run it. Peter is here. Good to see you. Sebastian, glad to see you today. Michael, glad you're here. Oh, there's Randy. Good afternoon. Donna, how you doing? Dave. Dave and I are actually going to meet... Um, Immediately after this, Dave has found something in the breadth that um, he thinks is a really strong data point. So he's going to explain it to me um, here right after this. And um, I'll definitely explain it to you guys next week once I once I wrap my brain around it. Leo, glad you're here. Sebastian and Michael are having a little side chat. What's your favorite broker in Germany for options? Jorn's back. Oh, is he, he's in Germany too. Everybody's in Germany today. Dave, please let someone else win. <laughs> Uh, Sebastian Schusen, Interactive Brokers. Randy is here. Great, thank you. Very cool. Okay, so we have our three. We have KX Chan as number one, Brian as number two, and Randy as number three. Now, I keep this very fair. I, honest to goodness, do not want to have a dog in the fight. So like I say, that's the only rules. Just post in the Discord. You can't win two weeks in a row. And the next number that I hit on this is going to be either one, two, or three. And that will determine the winner. Three. Two, one. Result is two. Who is two? Brian. Brian wins this week's weekly winner circle. Congratulations, Brian. Let's see. Let me write this in the Discord real quick. Congratulations to Brian for winning this week's winner's circle at April. So uh, we we're going to ship Brian a uh, $10 Amazon gift card on Monday. So way to go, Brian. Congratulations, my friend. And, uh, you know, all you got to do is just participate by sharing anything that's happened to you using Outlier. That's all we're looking for. So now with that out of the way, let's jump right into our market analysis. We got a lot to cover today. And again, I apologize for being late, but I got to do my job. My job is marketing. Welcome to the Outlier Trading Room. This is smart trading made simple. Save time, make money. Save time, make money. Start winning with less risk. Now, that's what I like to call profit hacking. Now, we cover this inside the playbook. You can get a free copy of the playbook over at ProfitHackingPlaybook.com or inside the VIP Investors Toolkit area of our Discord. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is Christopher Yule. I've twice been awarded Top 100 People in Finance. I've been successfully trading since 2009. I'm a partner with Outlier, and this is my style of trading using Outlier. And I like to call it the golden ticket trading strategy. It's the eight steps to turn profit hacking into pure gold. Hey, do me a favor real quick. While you're watching this, 
uh, make sure you're subscribed, right? I don't want you to miss out because Michael just missed out. I know he says he subscribed, but he showed up late. <laughs> All right, so let's go on to the golden ticket trading strategy is unlocked with the master key. And now you guys, after watching what happened this week, understand why I've been preaching the master key so hard. We went, a, I don't know, about six weeks or so without any trades. We got deep into politics. And um, I had many people questioning, Chris, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? This is what I was waiting for. And now you've seen why I was waiting for it, right? Like this is legitimately the coolest thing of all time. I, uh, I'm so stoked because Randy was just sharing his experience this week. Um, he's got XBI or XLB calls up 12 and a half percent. XLF calls up 12 and a half percent. Walmart, he's up 32%. And at one point it was up 44%. Like legit, you know what I'm talking about. It's only a matter of time until we take over the world. And I'm, <laughs> this is not even, uh, not even a joke. <laughs> So we've got the spy signal showing as a buy signal today. Market breadth is uh, also positive. And the sector breadth, I, I was just checking this not all that long ago. And we do have a sector that has gone negative on breadth. That was the uh, staple sector. Let's zoom in on that real quick. This one went bullish and has actually now turned bearish here. See, it went bullish and now it's turned back down into bearish. So I would not take any more trades in the staple sector, uh, which are we in XLP? No, XLP is the staples. We're in XLB. So the next step here is to move on to let the market tell us which direction it's going. We need to say the 10 over the 20, the price over the 50. And let's go to the SPY. That's definitely what we have here. Huge, huge moves. I got to tell you, I totally call this face ripping rally, right? We're up 10, over 10% at this point from the lows. Anybody who is short is really crying and uh, not not uh, happy at all. Randy, we will be taking Walmart off today, 100%. Um, so yeah, that is definitely coming off. I think that one's discretionary though. We'll check in a minute. Um, but either way, face ripping rally, 10 over 20, price over the 50. That is a mathematical, you can't deny it, upward trend right now. So the next step is to look at the bullish market breadth, which I'm going to go ahead and look at that real quick because I know it is, but I just want to see it for myself. We have 67 new stocks on the bull list today versus 11 new on the bear list today. So this should be growing still. Oh, yeah, growing very vertically. Look at that. All right, market breadth continues to grow. That's what we want to see there. So the next step is reducing risk before we take on any new trades. So we're going to start with Walmart. Now, Walmart... To Randy's point, um, this one has been an awesome trade. This is one of those trades that you love to see, right? Put it on at 73. It's now up at 75. Easy peasy. Just let it run. And then um, there was an opportunity two days ago to roll it, but I didn't have liquidity there. And even yesterday, I tried to roll it. It was really close on liquidity, but I just decided, you know what? We're going to take it off tomorrow anyway. I'm just going to hold it. And why did I say we're going to take it off tomorrow anyway? Because I said I was going to sell into strength at G23. That's on the heat map. And Walmart, we're going to see what this sector is in just a moment, Randy. Three, two, one. Staples, you were right. I was wrong. Such is the life in my household. <laughs> so, yes, it is a staple stock. Now, uh, it went from G13 to 16 to 18. Yesterday was 22. Today is 25. Now, like I say, I had planned on taking off at G23 because that was 10 points higher than where I put it on on the heat map. So I'm selling into strength on Walmart today. So let's go. Let's get our money and let's get, get let's get out of Walmart and celebrate this great win here on Walmart. So I was in Walmart. 70s. Going to close the full position. Let's see, Walmart 70s. Walmart, September 20th, 70s. Maybe I can get filled at 610. Sell to close at 610. Not happening. Let's try 605. Filled at 605. All right. So let's talk about how that trade went. 
out of Walmart at 6.05. Man, even better. I was looking at it earlier on in the day, and it was at 5.80. So very cool. I am up 43.6% on that trade. So I'm going to come in here in the Discord, and I'm going to reply to this. And then talk about how I closed it and why I closed it. Closed 8, 23, 24, closed Walmart. 70 calls for 6.30, right? Or was it 6.05? Build orders, 6.05. I don't know why I thought 6.30, 6.05. Which was a 43. 0.60% win. How do you like that? And the portfolio that did 3.45% up on the for portfolio. And the reason being is hit keeps map target. Beautiful trade. Beautiful trade. Randy says nice, but Powell scared him out. I don't, I don't, uh, Randy, I literally don't pay attention to the news at all. Um, man, I learned that way back from, I think Steve Burns was the first person to tell, you, tell me about that. And then every market wizard that I worked with also told me about that because it's price, dude. News is, you know, somewhat, in my opinion, somewhat unneeded when you just follow price, right? Because price is all it pays. But all is good, dude. Yeah, I mean, you could have been totally right. So don't stress on it. So out of Walmart, fantastic trade. Taking that off the main list. Let's go to Halo. That's next. Now, Halo, we need to check. We're not under the half ATR, not under the 10 EMA, no order blocks in our way. Huge red engulfing candles. Was that on Walmart or Halo? Probably Walmart. I'm going to zoom in. And yesterday it was at G16. Today is at G18. Said I would get out of Halo at G18. Let's take Halo off. All right. I wasn't planning on taking Halo off. Oh, Walmart earlier. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, that was a big candle at Walmart. I'm ready to take Halo off. Let's take off Halo. All right. Halo in the 55s. Halo, September 20th, 55 calls. Ooh, look at that spread. That got really wide. That was not like that when we got in. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to aim a little bit on the high side to see where I can get filled. But I would like to know where you get filled because this is huge. A buck 50 right now. All right. I'm going to work Halo. I'm going to work Halo. 55s. Close full position. I mean, yeah, I was just looking at the one right below it is not crazy like that. The one above it's like ludicrously wide, $4 wide. I don't know why this one is so wide right now. Let's see where we can get filled. I mean, still. All right, I'm going to start it at. What's what's mid price? Mid price is 760. I'm going to try. I'm going to start at 760. Halo. At 760. No. Let's move at 750. I bet we got out 750. Yes. Okay. Out of Halo at 750. Whoa, Donna got 798. I got 750. Wow, Donna, you murdered it. I only had a 2% return. You had a much bigger than mine return. <laughs> yeah, sometimes the price improvements don't actually pull through. Way to go, Donna. That was awesome. Halo, reply. Closed Halo. That was the 60s. I got out for 750. Donna got out at 798. 
which didn't do a whole lot for me. A 2% win, 2.67% win. It's on the board. And I did literally nothing to do with the portfolio. It did 29 basis points. But if I got Donna's, if I had got Donna's 798, that would have been a 9% return. So way to go, Donna. Way to go. Sebastian got eight. Dang. I got screwed on that one. It's all good. So out of Halo, Sebastian got eight. Donna got 798. Goran got set. Way to go. I'm not butt hurt. No, you're butt hurt. I'm not butt hurt. You're butt hurt. Uh, okay. So we're out of Halo. We're out of Walmart. Let's move on to the next one. XLF. Ooh, XLF. Let's roll it. So it's not under the half ATR. It's not under the 10 EMA. It is right at our one ATR rolling point. Let's roll up from the 41s. Yep. Let's roll from the 41. Let's see if we can get to the 42. 41 to 42. 80 delts on the 42 right now. 34 cents on 276. Twelve percent. That looks good. Let's double check the heat map real quick. So do y'all see like the power of the master key, right? Actually, I got to tell you, I, I, I think I give a lot of credit here to Leo because Leo actually was the one who suggested checking out the uh, sectors. So, Leo, that was that was a brilliant move there, my friend. Oh, Sebastian's already rolled it at 93 cents. Hang on real quick. G10 to G11. OK, that's what I want to see. My exit point was G17, so I'm not not in any issue of that. All right. Sebastian got 93 cents. Liquidity. Oh. All the liquidity. Clear that out because I need to sell to close the 41, buy to open the 42s. You got 93 cents. It's currently mid price at 90. Oh, 93 right now. I'm going to try 93 as well, Sebastian. <laughs> I don't want to get butt hurt. I had an order fill all day at 95, but didn't make it. All right. I'm putting in my order to roll at 93. Okay. I'm filled at 93. As well. Very cool. Now, um, I didn't get a chance to really discuss this real quick, but the reason we roll trades, I've talked about a couple of times this week. Every one ATR it moves in my direction, I want to roll it up for at least a credit, right? In this case, 93 cents. And as one order, sell to close the original, buy to open closer to the money. It can be one strike, it can be three. You just got to figure that out based on liquidity. And then it frees up partial profits now, keeps the cat, uh, frees up capital now and keeps the trade alive, right? You cannot do that with stock, literally impossible. So let me drop in here that I rolled this one on XLF. Give me a moment to find a rolling copy because I'm lazy. A lot to do today, 823 rolled XLF. That was the 41 to the 42. For 93 cents. Very cool. Now be sure you keep track of that. Be sure you keep track of what you roll it for. So 93 plus current value of that strike is at 273. So currently I'm up 15% on XLF as an open order still. Oh, not open order, but as an open trade. All right, we are killing it, right? Killing it, killing it. Let's go on to the next one, FI. Selling a strength of G37 on FI. This one's been easy peasy as well. So FI. We 
still got 20 minutes. We still got time to look for new trades. Don't stress. All right. Got in at G32. It's at 33, 34, 35 today on FI. Said I would get out of G37. <clears throat> I don't have any order blocks in the way up here. It's not below either the 10 or the half ATR and not quite. Still got another 60 cents or so to reach up to the rolling point. So not going to do anything with that. Keeping FI as it is. Um, let's go to the next one. Scene. Scene had a huge move today. We need to roll this guy. Look at that. Up nearly 4% today. Goodness. Yeah, thank you very much. Let's double check its uh, heat map real quick. I'm telling you, <laughs> this was worth every moment for waiting. C-I-E-N. We want to get out at G28. It's currently at G25. So it's it's gone from 23 yesterday to 25 today. We can still roll that up. Dang, that is so sweet. Okay, scene, C-I-E-N. All right, we're in the 50s. I'd like to roll to the 52 and a halves. That's 20 cents wide. So let's see. We sell by 95. 164 on 560 is how much? 29. Ugh. All right, here's the thing. I don't mind fudging on one thing or another, but this is 30% of the extrinsic. This is less than 250. I'm not going to fudge on two things. I might fudge on one. I, I would have considered, I don't remember what this was when I got in. I would have considered this if my extrinsic was down or if my extrinsic was up at 29, I'd consider this if it was highly liquid, but I don't, I'm not comfortable doing both. So I'm going to keep seeing exactly as it is, but we do want to roll up the half ATR. Let's roll that guy up anyway. Uh, so one ATR is currently at a buck sixty, so eighty cents. So it's currently at fifty six thirty three. Well, I don't know why I did that. Fifty six dot thirty three minus point eight. Fifty five fifty three. Okay. Fifty five fifty three. So that would be the half ATR point, as if we had rolled it right now. Does that make sense? So scene is looking awesome. XLB. And then we need to move on to the new ones. This one didn't quite cross over. It did kiss the uh, one ATR earlier today, but um, not, not going to be able to roll XLB. But let's do double check the heat map. There's no order blocks in the way. Half ATR and 10 EMA are way down here. from R0, G1, G3. So that continues to work forward, not at G13. So nothing to do on XLB. So that leaves us with Halo, XLF. Yeah, we rolled XLF, that's right. Right? No, no, no we took off Halo, that's right. I was like, I know I'm missing something here. If Halo off my main list, so I don't get confused again. All right, we took off Walmart, took off Halo, rolled XLF. So I have. XLF, FI, scene, and XLB on the books, on the books right now. Cool. Move to the next step, which is run the scanner or run the, uh, what do we call it a scanner? Screener. I can't remember. Screener. Run the screener. Okay. I need to update that. We're going to look for a positive back test, a million average daily. Over a million average daily volume, a buy signal, the oscillator moving up, all market caps greater than twenty dollars, most every heat map value, and uptrend overlays. So I run that already. We can see that we've got a handful here. August twenty third, one, two, three, four, five, six. I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. That's all we got today. And I took those seven, and I confirmed that none of them are in the. Uh, bearish sectors of 
staples and utilities. So all of these are in bullish sectors. And I took that list, dropped it into TrendSpider as my bull list. And then I hit refresh. And only two pop out, GIN and SCI. GIN. All right, let's look at the returns on those two. GIN is at 84% outlier signal returns. And SCI is at 10. So we will start with GIN, G-E-N. Go into the options chain. We got 14 minutes. We got lots of time. Now, we're going to scroll down. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to say. The scanner looked for no order blocks in the way, no earnings the next three days. The 10, 50, 20 on the stocks in the direction of the trend, and it's above the prior day's low. And the back test, start with the highest back test. Confirm the heat map's not already stalled on gin. Did we do that? No. Oh, Sebastian, thank you. We didn't move the half ATR on XLF. Let's do that right now. I appreciate that very much, Sebastian. So current ATR value is 54 cents. So dot 54 divided by two, 27 cents. Under 44.40 is 44.13. Perfect. Oh no, I moved my opening. What was that at? XLF 43.82. Don't you ever do that to me again. Okay, there's no like undo button in TrendSpider either. All right, back to Jim. We're checking for the heat map value here. Yesterday R7, today R6. So it's moving out of the fear toward the greed. That's great. That's what I want to see. R7, now R6. It actually was R7 for a few days, and now it's moving up from R7 to R6. So that's great. It was stalled, and now it's moving out of its stall. Very cool. All right, let's go to the option chain. We got some liquidity here. That's what I wanted to see. Heck yeah. Hmm. Okay, this is a bit tricky because this one here, the 22, is at the 94 delta, and I usually like 80 delta. Here's my criteria, real quick. 21 days or greater to uh, uh 12 minutes. We're good. 21 days or more to expiration. 250 plus open interest. Less than 50 cent bid ask spread. 20 percent or less extrinsic value. Generally, the 80 delta. So this puts me at 94, and then we've got the 65. So this is 42 cents on a dollar 10. It's way more than 20%. So it's 38%. Or we could do 7 cents on 380, which is practically zero. 7 by 380, practically zero. It's 2%. So I would go with this one right here. Now, the likelihood of rolling could be difficult here. Because like I say, these are not liquid. The 22s and 25s are great. The 23, 24 are not liquid. But that's okay. Right. If we get a giant move on this and it goes ten dollars, we can still roll it um, up to the twenty five when this one goes up to like the eighty delta or so. So I'm OK with this one. All right. So next step, get your position size. You can do it the old fashioned way with all that stinking hard math. Ain't nobody got time. for. Ain't literally ain't nobody got time for that. Just go into the discord. Go click the VIP investors toolkit. Click this button right here to download the power scanner. And then once you're in it, type in G-E-N. Put in your position size, I'm sorry, your account balance, your risk per trade, or your uh, approximate option delta. So generally I like to start at 400,000. So that'd be 233, okay? If you had an account size that big at 400,000, that'd be 233. Or let's say you had 40,000, that'd be 23. Or if you had 4,000, That'd be two, okay? So I like to let you guys know to position size correctly. <laughs> I can't tell you how important it is to position size correctly. Now, you don't have to get that many. That's completely up to you. So uh, going back into here. So 22 strike. Wait, what? That, that didn't look like that a minute ago. Did it?
Didn't look like that a minute ago. No. That like blew up here. Two dollars wide. What the heck? In my business account, it still shows 330 to 350. We're gonna come back to Jen. I don't know what happened there. Let's go to the last one. SCI. Oh, trade him you guys an undo button. All right. SCI was G18 yesterday. Today is G oh, today is G18. So it's already stalled. See that? G18 yesterday, G18 today. So I won't I won't be doing that one. So let's go back to Jin. What happened to Jin? I want to trade it. I really do. And five minutes ago, I would have traded it, but now I won't. That's only a dollar wide when it was a buck fifty a minute ago. Something happened. What happened on Jen? Something just happened in the last like minute. I mean, it's going up hard and strong, but it, I mean, that's four cents away than it was five minute candles ago. Whoa, we got a new person here. I don't know what that word is. Can you explain that to me in English? Because to me, I read that as NERCO, Swedish NERCO, but I know I'm not right. Anyone use an IG account? Seems good, but I don't know how to use it. Sebastian's seeing 340, Now I'm seeing 350, 390. Okay, now it's coming in. That was weird. All right, but let's put it on the, the, the low side and see what happens. Let's put it at, I'm going to start at 360. That was really weird. Okay, I got my position size now. That's what I was doing. I started at 360. Unlikely I'll get there. But with that spread going wide like that, let's just see what happens. Oh shit, I sold it. Hang on. Trading mistake. No, close the trade immediately. Hold tight. I sold to open instead of buy to open. And gone. Which is Bull crap because I had to pay the spread. Hang on. Am out, right? No. What the frick? Sorry, guys. Hang on just a second. You know what? Screw this guy. I want to be out. I don't want to be in gin. I'm still short calls in gin. What am I doing wrong here? I'm not getting filled. I need to buy to close. Buy to close. You already have a closing order. I know, I'm trying to. Working.
What the frick? Why am I not getting out? I'm sorry, guys. I will not be trading Jin. Jin's acting way too crazy. Yeah. I, I, I am struggling to get out of Jin right now. Yes, buy to close now. I'm getting irritated. I didn't want to sell it. I definitely don't want to buy it. And I'm not happy that I'm having to pay at least 50 cents to cross the bid right now. Well, that was a fun exercise and bullshit. <sighs> okay. I got filled to sell to open at 378 and filled buy to close at 390 so i'm only at 12 cents good lord yeah i'd, I'd screw jen i'm done with it no no thank you okay is this for warranter i don't know well that wasn't fun jen is wild yeah screw that guy i'm out i, I don't care i'm not trading that one anymore yeah, that was an honest mistake on my part to uh, to sell sell to open, but then getting out was a problem. But at least I'm out. At Twelve cents, life happens, right? Donna made way more than twelve cents on that spread she got earlier. Way to go, Donna! All right, that's gonna wrap it for today. Let's do. Uh, we did not get into gin, or I'm not in gin. Screw that guy. Let's do a quick roundup of what we have. Wrong button main list all right i'm in xlf we rolled xlf up and xlf right now is showing uh we're in the 42s right yeah 42s no i didn't say just i said xlf okay we rolled it up to the 42s 42s are showing What's the mid price in the 42 right now? 275 plus the 93 cents we took in earlier. 275. All right, so XLF is doing awesome. Shows I'm up right at 16% right now on the trade overall. Very happy with that. Next one, FI. The 160s on FI. Uh, mid price on those is going to be wild. How spread that is. It's because the market's closing on a Friday. That's what it had to have been. 1070 is mid price though, which shows them up about 18% on FI. C I E N. Didn't roll it. Still holding C I E N. Yeah, we didn't roll that. So we're still in the 50s. So 750. It's mid price at the moment. I'm up 28% on CIN. I like that. XLB. What are we in the XLBs? The 90, 87s. Oh, we can't. Seriously. I was just trying to give you guys an update before the weekend, but this is, you know, $4 wide at this point because of the weekend. Last I had looked at that, it was 615. So 6.30 is not too far off. I could use 6.30. So that puts me about 16% up. Uh, and then we took off Walmart today at a 44% gain. And Donna had a huge gain in Halo where I was only up 2%. So huge, 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 huge week. And that, that, which you just saw this week, is exactly why I'm using the master key inside of outlier with the scanner putting everything together so it just clicks as easy as it is right like this is some of the best trading that you could ever ask for putting on a trade watching it run rolling it up behind it right 
this is exactly what you want. And I'm so stoked to be able to do this with you. Yeah, Randy says, this is a good week. It's a great week, my friend. Absolutely. All right. You guys have a fantastic weekend. I hope your weekend is full of blessings and bountiful days with your family. And um, I will see you right back here on Monday. And Rand, not Randy, Dave, uh, let's jump over in that live stream in about 30 seconds. So y'all have a great day. We'll talk soon.